from what I've seen is that people aren't caught up in ideology. You've got people from the right and the left that they're really just looking at it the way they see it and reporting it the way they see it. As the U.S. presidential election heads towards the final stretch, voter fraud and voter registration issues have hit the headlines. Republicans claim they are trying to maintain the integrity of the voting process and the electorate, while Democrats accuse Republicans of voter suppression, putting up roadblocks to disenfranchise voters they think will vote Democrat. I spoke to Professor Spencer Overton, a law professor at George Washington University. Uh, claims about voter fraud are exaggerated and irresponsible. If you look at the data, voter fraud is very rare. Out of the 100 million ballots cast in the presidential election, there are only about nine, just nine convictions per year for ineligible people fraudulently voting. So almost no one is willing to risk five years in prison to cast an improper ballot. The problem, though, is we've got politicians who, who make exaggerated claims about fraud uh, and they, they push these error-prone bureaucratic systems that would block thousands of innocent voters. They talk in a problem uh, that is inherent to the United States. If you look at whether it's gerrymandering in our system or election administration, we've got the fox essentially guarding the hen house here because we've got politicians making the rules uh, about elections. Uh, if you look in the, uh, the newly formed democracy in Iraq that the United States helped set up, uh, there they've got an independent election administration, uh, whereas here in the United States we do not uh, have that. Here in the United States, politicians essentially work and draw their own electoral boundaries, and in many other jurisdictions that doesn't happen. And we've seen this as an issue recently. If you look at uh, the U.S. attorney firing scandal at our Justice Department, it illustrated the problems with trumped-up rumors about widespread voting fraud. Several Republican U.S. attorneys, they found no evidence of widespread voter fraud, uh, and the attorney general, Alberto Gonzalez, he fired them. Uh, even though the scandal led to Gonzalez's resignation, there's still problems. Less than 24 hours after John McCain exaggerated these claims about vote fraud, two Justice Department senior lawyers violated Justice Department regulations and told the press that a voter fraud investigation was being conducted. So we don't want a repeat of the abuse of the Justice Department for political purposes that we saw before. We also have to prevent state law enforcement abuse. In Wisconsin, the McCain campaign co-chair is also the state attorney general. He used his position to sue and force the state's election board to block registrations, and, and fortunately the judge threw his case out. In Ohio, the uh, Democratic Secretary of State blocked some absentee ballot applications from McCain supporters because a particular box that was not required by law was not checked. The McCain campaign chair for uh, Southwest Ohio, who was also the uh, a county prosecutor, uh, subpoenaed personal info of 40 percent of the voters who registered and cast a ballot on the same day, and which was completely in accordance with the law. And so we do have several examples of partisan election administrators who are, are making decisions, and there is a question, there is a cloud over their decision uh, because of the partisan motivations that may be behind them. I do think that certainly politicians want to do what they will to, to win. Uh, certainly not all politicians, but, but many of them, and some of them have uh, admitted it in, in Nevada just before the 2004 election. Uh, the former Republican State Party executive director challenged 17,000 voters. All of them were Democrats. He said that he targeted Democratic voters because, quote, I'm a partisan Republican. I admit it, uh, close quote, and the, the improper challenge was blocked by the county registrar. So I think in many situations uh, there is some uh, partisan motivation behind this. Certainly, Senator McCain's statement, I don't know if it was intentional, but I think it was certainly reckless, where he said that now we're on the verge of one of the greatest frauds in voter history in this country, maybe destroying the fabric of democracy. That was certainly over the top. It was reckless, and it was inconsistent with the facts.
This is the sort of thing we can build right now without anyone else's permission from the government or from the business community. It's the powers in our hands. If we're not going to sleepwalk into more wars and into environmental disaster, we think we need to start with a television news network that won't bow to pressure and has the courage to seek facts. And that means independent economics. And that's why we need you. Real hope means facing a complex reality. Your tax-deductible donation makes it possible. Please contribute. Visit therealnews.com.